What's going on guys, so all you here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another tier list and it is going to be the defenders up next and this will be the last tier list we do without team of the year players. Now we have got a crazy amount of players to go through today but before we get into it, just want to let you guys know that this is my personal tier list. I understand there's going to be different opinions about certain players. If you feel like a player should have gone higher or lower, just let me know who they are in the comment section. But let's get into it, starting off with Path to Glory Cooler Bali. The guy is simply amazing. I I love this card and 100% he is going to go into the S tier. Ledley King, I actually used him in draft and I got lucky because he was on that Shadow Chem style. This guy is a beast when it comes down to defense, man. Like his tackling ability is incredible. He definitely doesn't feel great on the ball. And for me, he isn't on that Koulibaly level. But Ledley King is going to go into the A-plus tier. Rota Knockout Bremer. Very, very good centre-back. But as good as Ledley King? I don't believe so, boys. Bremer's tackling ability is top tier. It's just, yeah, Ledley King, in my opinion, is a better centre-back than Bremer. Cap de Villa, World Cup Hero card, 100%. 100% S-tier. There's no question about it. Ricardo Cavalio, World Cup card as well. Very, very good player putting in a tackle. I love his animations. He somehow gets onto the ball near enough every single time pace on Cavalio can be a little bit of an issue but not too much I don't believe he's as good as Kula Bali so I'm gonna put him in the A plus tier boys Carver Howe, very good fullback as well I love the fact that Carver Howe gives you that physicality as well in that fullback position and you can really see it in game when he goes up to players and just pushes them out the way do I believe he's on an S tier level for the fullbacks no I think Carver Howe again Deserves to go into the A-plus tier. Rule Breakers Munier, very solid defensively. Love the reach as well in that fullback position. But on the same level as Carver Howe, no. I'm taking Carver Howe 100% over Munier. So Munier is going to go, boys, in the A tier. Navas, very fast. Good tackling ability. Actually has a physical presence as well. Again, though, not as good as Carver Howe. So I'm going to put Navas in the A tier as well. Dodo, 5'5", five five, does not cover those backstick head as well at all. And his dribbling ability for a 5'5 five five player. Not great. Not great. Dodo, in my opinion, is a B-plus tier card. Kempembe, unreal. Unreal. Real 100% deserves to go into the S tier. He is an incredible, incredible card. He reminds me of the Kempembe last year. Uh, Ferla Mendy, winter wild card. Insanely good card as well. You guys already know where he is going to go. 100% an S tier fullback. Boateng, this guy's sprint speed. Huh. It's, uh, it's abysmal. It's ridiculously bad. Boateng, yeah. B plus, 100% boys. His sprint speed is awful and his reactions as well for a centre-back, horrendous. 100% would rather have Bremer in that centre-back position. Underrated, very underrated. Defensively, he is solid. He's got that physical presence, that really nice physical presence, that tackling ability, top tier as well. Good amount of pace. I'm going to put Gunter in the A plus tier. He also does offer you something going forward. It's just, it isn't amazing. It definitely isn't as good as someone like Furlan Mendy's uh, attacking presence. Rota knockout goes in. I believe he was an objective card. Very good objective card as well. Love him in that fullback position. You can give him lengthy with, I believe it's the anchor chem style. And he is great all rounded as well. He can go forward. He can defend. He was in the A plus tier last time. I'm going to put him in the A plus tier this time as well. Wambazaka, road to the knockout card. Amazing, amazing fullback. His dribbling ability isn't crazy, but it is definitely good. Do I believe he's as good as Fernand Mendy or Cap de Villa? No, he definitely is just a level below, and that is the A plus tier. Robertson, winter wild card. Love the fact that they gave this card five star skill moves. It's so nice to work with going forward. He is great on defense as well. The one thing I don't like about Robertson is the two star weak foot. It is so annoying sometimes when I'm forced to pass on that weaker foot and it just like it goes anywhere else but where i'm aiming it's so so annoying so yeah robertson i like him a lot but that two star weak foot is annoying i'm gonna put him in the a plus tier boys i don't believe he deserves to go into the s tier triore a card that came out yesterday a card that i did try and he is good man he is a very very good fullback he is so fast this guy catches up to near enough everyone defensively he can put in a very good tackle as well i don't mind him going forward again I think it's an A-plus tier card. I believe he is better than Munir. I believe he's better than Navas as well. Now, this is a sticky one, boys, because I love the way Guerrero feels on the ball. Incredible dribbling ability. Defensively, though. Yeah, defensively, 
He's not really that guy, I'll be honest. Guerrero, for me, is more like a centimeter CDM than a fullback, especially with his sprint speed as well. He gets outpaced, especially with the attackers we play nowadays, like Awan and Bappe, you know, these really, really fast players. Yeah, Guerrero cannot catch up. Boys, I'm going to put him into the B-plus tier. As I said, I do prefer him in a centimeter CDM position than that fullback position. Sanchez, fast, great tackling ability. Or what lets Sanchez down? is the reactions you can just tell there's certain passes that do go past him and it's just like it's just a little bit annoying to see and it's something you don't get from a player like ledley king or carver house so sanchez is not going to go into the a plus tier boys he is going to go into the a tier kim min jay insanely good center back so cheap as well i believe he's like 70k 80k maybe even less than that he's so so good for the price that you can pick him up for 100 percent a plus tier 100%. I don't believe he's as good as Kempembe or Koulibaly. But yeah, A-plus tier for Kim Minjay. Jimenez. Ooh, the pace. The pace in that centre-back position. The sticky one. I'm definitely taking Brem over him. I'm definitely taking Sanchez over Jimenez as well. Jimenez is going to go, boys, in the B-plus tier. Dest. Pretty nice fullback. But nothing like crazy. Definitely not as good as wan Definitely not as good as Robertson. Definitely not as good as someone like Carver Howe either. But I would take Dest over someone like Dodo and uh, Guerrero. So I'm going to put Dest right in the middle. And that is the A tier. Akuna, love this guy in a DM position. Love this guy in a sentiment position as well. And that is why in the midfielder's tier list, he went into the S tier. But as a fullback, he is an S tier. As a fullback, he's A plus, boys. I don't believe, yeah, he's up there with Ferland Mendy or Cap de Villa. No way. Uh, Cola, if this guy had more pace, he would be... Huh, he would be all the way up there. His pace isn't bad. Like, his sprint speed is pretty nice. He's just in-game. You definitely do notice his transition speed being a little bit slow. And you definitely do notice that he does struggle to catch up the players, especially Mbappe. So, yeah, Kola defensively, like, tackling-wise is incredible. The animations he gives you as well is super nice. It's just... I'm definitely taking Ledley King over him. I'm definitely taking Ricardo Cavalli over him as well. So, yeah, Kola... As I said, if he had more pace to his game and his transition was better, we're looking at A plus tier, maybe even S tier. Cordoba, amazing centre back. Definitely can uh, lose out on a few 50 50s when the ball is up in the air, but his jumping ability is still solid, so he does win some of them. Cordoba, for me, is a comfortable A plus tier card. Again, don't believe he's up there with the S tier centre backs. Laporte, on the other hand, though, this guy, huh? Joke. Joke of a centre-back. His tackling animations are insane. He somehow gets onto the ball every single time. And this guy does not get outpaced easily. I can tell you that. Laporte is going to be an S-tier centre-back for me, boys. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. I think he's up there, man. He is so, so good. PK, love the tackling animations. PK's tackling animations has always, always been good. He's not a slow centre-back either. He was S-tier last time, but I'm going to drop him down, boys. I'm going to drop him down into the A-plus tier. I don't believe he deserves to go there anymore. Toljan, very good fullback, but not like a crazy good fullback, I'll be honest. Not Wamazaka level, not Robertson level. Toljan, I'm going to put him in the A tier. Kenny, same thing really. Like, Kenny gives you something going forward, which is nice. He gives you something on defense as well, which is nice. It's just, in my opinion, not as good as Robertson, not as good as Wamazaka, not as good as Traore either. Kenny is going to go into the A tier. Half the glory of Rojo, he's been amazing for so long, but do I believe it's time to drop from the S tier to the A plus tier? I do. I do, boys. With the center backs that's going to be going into the S tier and the center backs I'm looking at right now in the S tier, a Rojo is dropping from the S tier to the A plus tier. Fabio, underrated. Aggression on Fabio is incredibly, incredibly good. Shadow Chemstall, the pace through the roof. I definitely will say he's underrated. I'm going to put him in the A plus tier. Konate, road to the knockout card. If you haven't tried this card out, try him. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Konate, road to the knockout. Yeah, 100%. 100% S tier card. Martinez. He was in the midfielders tier list as a CDM. I put him A plus tier. As a defender though, as a centre back slash fullback, not a massive fan of him, but I don't think he's a bad fullback either. I definitely will say that. He's not a bad fullback. He's not a bad centre back. It's just I definitely do prefer him in that CDM position. As a centre back slash fullback, 
I'm going to put him in the A tier. I don't believe he deserves to go on the same level as these players in the A plus tier. Ronaldo, I do like how you can move him into a centre back position. Well, I'm going to be honest, I'm taking every single fullback and centre back in the A tier over Ronaldo. So I'm going to put this card in the B plus tier. Varane, winter wild card. There's no question about it. 100%. 100% boys, S tier card. Uh, Telis, he came out quite a long time ago. He has got a two star weak foot, which isn't great to work with. But I do like Telis. Uh, like, I do like how all rounded Telis is. Like, he's a very, very nice all rounded fullback. I'm going to put him in the A tier with how good all rounded he is. Like, he offers you something on defense, he offers you something going forward. It's really nice to see. Joan Cancelo, in form card. The pace on Joan Cancelo can be a little bit of an issue time to time, but he is still a very good fullback. S tier? No. A plus tier though, yeah, 100%. Storyline then Donker, he was my level 30 card last season and I was really surprised how he was in that centre back position because I thought maybe the transition speed was going to be a little bit slow. It wasn't. He caught up to plays really quickly as well. Tackling ability, solid. Am I going to go as far as saying he's on Varane's level, Koulibaly's level, Kempembe's level, Canate, Laporte's level? No, he isn't that good, but I'm definitely going to put then Donker in the A plus tier. Physicals, incredible pace on that anger chem style to give him lengthy really really good as well and i do like his dribbling ability in that center back position he's a center back that you don't need to pass out of pressure you can dribble out of pressure which is quite rare to see on center backs i must admit he's definitely an a plus tier card for me man really really solid center back theo hernandez team of the tournament card you guys already know you guys already know would his inform go into the s tier as well yeah it would love his inform love his team in the tournament card virgil van dyke you guys already know. You guys already know. Would his gold card go into the S tier as well? Yes. His gold card is still incredible for me. I still use gold Virgil van Dijk on the main account and the RTG as well. Incredible on the ball. Great tackling ability. Good amount of pace as well. As good as Ferland Mendy. Cap the Vio. Theo? No. I'm not going to go that far. No, no, no. No way. But Danny Alves? Yeah, A plus tier for me. Joke. Joke. When I reviewed this card, I couldn't believe how good he was in that fullback position. And he offers you so much in that fullback position as well. So Tavernier is 100% going to go into the S tier. Uh, Klaus, unreal passing ability. Obviously, he's got 99 passing. Uh, pretty nice on the ball. Good amount of pace. Defensively, though, that's when we have an issue defensively for me klaus is not really that guy like it just feels like the physicality is not great defending he can put in a nice tackle time to time but his tackling ability definitely isn't as good as someone like wamba zakas definitely isn't as good as someone like danny alvis is either klaus is gonna go boys in the a tier half the glory romero insanely good center back he was s tier last time boys does he go s tier now the thing is with Romero, right, is to give him that lengthy accelerate style, you have to go for an anger chem style. You cannot go for the shadow chem style and make him lengthy. That is not the case here. He is a very, very good center back. I love his aggression. I like his tackling ability as well. But I'm taking Virgil van Dijk over him. I'm taking Ferran, Konate, Kempembe, Kulobali over him as well. Romero is going to drop from the S tier boys into the A plus tier. Dynamic image though, I think mean, there's no question about it. It's one of the best in the entire game. Opa Makano showdown card. Such a nice card as well. Incredible pace, tackling, physicality. I like Opa Makano a lot. But I don't believe he's on the level of Konate or Varane. So Opa Makano, boys, is going to go into the A-plus tier as well. Gavardio, same thing. Do not believe he's on that S-tier level, but a very, very good centre-back. And I'm 100% going to put him into the A-plus tier. Montiel's pace is incredible. That's the thing I really like. Like The pace is no joke. The guy catches up to near enough everyone. And he does feel okay on a ball. Nothing too crazy. He can put in a nice tackle as well. But if we're looking at the level, with the A plus tier for fullbacks, Wambazaka, we got Fabio in there as well, Juan Cancelo, Danny Alves. Yeah, Montiel, boys, I don't believe deserves to go on that level. I'm going to put him into the A tier. Baragi, same thing. Same thing. A good fullback, 
I do like how all-rounded he is. He can go forward with his nice dribbling ability. It's just not on the level of Robertson, not on the level of wan not on the level of Fabio either. So Baragi is going to go into the A tier as well. The Licht wants to watch card, extremely fast, great transition speed. The thing about the Licht, right, when you use him in-game, you'll really notice he's like physicality. Like this guy's body type is not like, it's not slim. It's a very, very bulky body type. So yeah, the Licht for me, A plus tier. Definitely an A plus tier card. Kia, yeah, very good center back as well, but not as good as the Licht, not as good as Upper Makana, not as good as Romero as well. The level of center backs we have in that A plus tier is incredible. Kia, yeah, he's not on that level, boys. He is an A tier card. Marquinhos, he was S tier last time. Does he drop now? The thing about Marquinhos, right, is tackling, it's no joke. It's the real deal, all right? It's just the pace. The pace can definitely definitely be an issue and for me this card should not be going for the price he goes for it should not be going for the price he goes for boys i'm pretty sure he's like 500k which is ridiculous i'm gonna drop him from the s tier into the a plus tier because i do like marquinos it's just i'm looking at the center backs we have we have in the s tier and yeah, I don't believe Marquinhos deserves to go on that level anymore. It's mainly winter wildcard on that anchor chem style. He is lengthy. He is a really fast fullback as well. Uh, tackling wise, solid. Physicals, that strength is top tier when he's on that anchor chem style. Dribbling wise, his agility isn't great. And you can definitely notice that in game when you're going for a few sharp turns. Do I believe he's on the same level as players like uh, Robertson, Wambazaka, Gunter? No, I do not. So I'm going to put him, boys, in the A tier. Dumfries team of the tournament card. I've been using this card for a while and he is incredible. Very, very underrated. I definitely would say he's the most underrated fullback in this entire game. If you guys have not tried Dumfries out yet, try him out. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. For me, S tier. That's how good he is. A guard, showdown card. Nice card, but not insanely, insanely good. He's got good pace. His heading ability is nice as well. He's tackling a solid physicals. He's got a lot to offer in that center back position. And that is why I'm going to put him in the A plus tier. Amavi, love the fact that he's got a five star weak foot. Love the fact that you can uh, move him to both sides of the pitch as well. You can move him into that left back position if you want to. Physicality, unreal. Amavi is a fantastic, fantastic fullback. Not as good as Dumfries. Not as good as Tavernier. Not as good as Fiodo. So I'm going to put him in the A plus tier. Luke Shaw, just a level below Amavi. Just a level below Amavi, boys. Luke Shaw, solid on defense, can go forward nicely as well. But as I said, just a level below. So I'm going to put him in the A tier. He's incredible. There's no way of saying it. He is incredible when he's on that Shadow Chem style. This guy's passing ability, he offers you some crazy, crazy passing. Like in that fullback position, you can go for any over top through ball you want. And trust me, is going to get onto the player. He is incredible, and that is why he is going to go into the S tier, boys. He's so good. So, so good. Thiago Silva. Oh, he was A plus tier last time, I believe. Do I believe he deserves to stay there? Now with Ledley King in there. Now with Romero in there. Now Marquinhos in there. Upper Marcano and stuff like that. Thiago Silva needs to drop, boys. He needs to drop. Yeah, he does not deserve to go on that level anymore. So Thiago Silva is going to go into the A tier. Ben White, row to the World Cup card. The exact same thing as Thiago Silva. Tackling wise on both of them, incredible. But both of them are not as good as Marquinhos. They're not as good as Romero. They're not as good as Upper Marcano either. Or someone like Dendonka. I'm going to put Ben White, boys, in the A tier. For Fana, on the other hand, though, oh, yeah. This guy is the real deal. I love his physicals. Fafana's physicals are a joke. This guy goes up to anyone and just pushes them out the way constantly. Fafana, for me, is an A-plus tier card. Nuno Menj, underrated. Underrated. I know I've said that a few times for a few players. It's just this guy is underrated. And the reason he's underrated is because he performs better than what his stat says. Is he an S-tier fullback? He isn't. I'm going to, you know, step back a little bit. He isn't an S-tier fullback. But 100%, he does deserve to go into the A-plus tier. What an SBC. What an SBC. Such a nice SBC. Yes, he was a lot of coins, but he is an amazing, amazing centre-back. Again, S-tier centre-back? No. But A-plus tier? 
comfortably. The thing about Frimpong, right, which I love, is the guy catches up to literally anyone, and the way he feels on the ball going forward is incredible. But there's one thing that definitely will annoy you time to time, and it's the long passing. This guy's over top through balls down the line can be very annoying because sometimes they don't go towards the player. Sometimes they go completely out of play. But he is still a very good fullback, and that is why I'm going to put him, boys, in the A-plus tier. Diallo. Ooh. Diallo is nice. But he is an eighty. He is, and if we're looking at the centre backs in the eighty, Cola's better. Thiago Silva's better. Ben White is better, boys. Those centre backs are better. Sanchez is better as well. I'm gonna put Diallo in the B plus tier. Quadrado, best attacking fullback in the game. Hands down. I think there's no question about it. Five-star skill moves. Incredible on the ball. There's some people that don't even play this card in a fullback position. There's some people that play him in a sentiments, a CDM position. He is so, so good all-rounded. And I'm 100% going to go ahead and move myself down here. So I can put Quadrado in the S tier. Guess what? Back-to-back -back S tier cards, boys. Diego Dalot, 100% S tier as well. Such a good fullback. The thing about Dalot that I really, really do enjoy is how he feels on the ball. You know, like with Dumfries, you get that crazy good defensive ability. And I will say this right now, Dumfries defensively is better than Dalot. But if we're talking about a, a all-rounded fullback, oh, Dalot is that guy. This guy is insanely, insanely good all-rounded. All right, nothing too crazy. Physicality. Is all right defensively, solid pace, pretty good as well. Nothing too special. I'm gonna put him, boys, in the A tier. Godfrey was in the A plus tier last time with the level we have now in the A plus tier. Godfrey needs to move down, he needs to go into the A tier. Realm, two star weak foot mm, can be annoying. And the most frustrating thing about Realm is this guy's passing ability. I'll say right now, dribbling wise, pace very, very good. But the passing, screwing up just simple passes, I would say this late into the game is so, so annoying to see from a fullback. And that is why I'm taking Luke Shaw over him. And that is why I'm taking Coleman over him. And that is why I'm taking a player like Kenny or Toljan over him as well. Realm, for me, is going to go into the B-plus tier. Eric Bai, Eric Bai, Eric Bai, where do you go, man? I do love this card. I think he's amazing. But in the review, I did say A+. plus. Now, I could change that. That doesn't need to obviously stick. I could go, all right, this card actually did deserve to go into the S tier. But I'm not going to do that, boys. I'm not going to do that. Bai is going to stay in that A plus tier. I do like him a lot. He's very fast. The tackling is nice. The physicality through the roof. It's just I don't believe he's on the, the S tier level centre backs. I do not believe he deserves to go up there. I know some people though, 100% would put him in the S tier. Danilo in form, incredible card. Another underrated player. I said that a few times today. Danilo's great, man. Tackling, beautiful. So, so good. 100%. An A plus tier card for me. Moreno. Ooh, defensively, Moreno really doesn't offer you much, man. Yeah, Montiel is better. Baragi's better. I'm going to put Moreno in the B plus tier, boys. I don't believe he deserves to go into the A tier. Lacroix, pace, insanely good. Tackling, nice as well. My issue with Lacroix, though, is his reactions. Just the reactions lets him down. And you could definitely notice some through balls going past him. And that is definitely frustrating to see. He's not on Ledley King's level. He's not on the center backs in the A plus tier level. Lacroix for me is an A tier card. Uh, Pavard, you can play him fullback. You can play him a uh, center back. He's solid in both of them. But he isn't a crazy fullback. And he isn't a crazy center back in my opinion. I'm going to put him into the A tier as well. Uh, just the worst version of Carver Howe in my opinion. Yeah, just a level below Carvajal. Lucas Vasquez is going to go A tier. Schlotterbeck, they gave this card for free, right? I'm pretty sure through the draft objectives. Solid, solid centre-back. The sprint speed's there. Tackling is there. I'm going to put him in the A-plus tier. Hakimi, Phenom's card. I think you guys know. I think you guys know where he is going to go. I've heard he is getting a Team of the Year card as well. That Team of the Year card is going to be a joke. Phenom's Hakimi. Yeah, S tier. And look who's next, boys. Look who is next. Tomori. You guys know where he's going to go. Tomori went to wildcard. S tier as well. Would he's in form go into the S tier? It would. These in form would go into the S tier as well. This year, I just love Tomori, man. He's that guy for me. He's there when I need him. And he puts in some very, very clutch tackles. Rudiger wants to watch card. 
unreal center back this year as well animations with rudiger are just a joke he just really gets onto everything alfonso davis stories card amazing amazing card he's originally a left wing but you can move him back into that left back position if you want to he has got high low work rates but as long as he's on a stay back while attacking you're fine you're chilling boys he is such a good fullback and he is going to go into the s tier once again sergio ramos rule breaker card my issue with ramos is his sprint speed you can definitely notice that sprint speed time to time be an issue when you're matching up against these extremely fast attackers tackling animations though i think there's no question about it it's incredible he can put in an insanely good tackle but ramos is gonna go boys in the a plus tier and not the s tier same thing with ramos sprint speed can definitely be an issue but with nathan ake he definitely does feel faster than what it says on the card and his tackling ability is very very good do i believe though he stays in the a plus tier because he was in the a plus tier last time I think it's time to drop now, boys. With players like uh, players like Marquinhos now in there, Romero now in there, Upper Meccano, like these players like Kim and Jay as well, in my opinion, are better than Nathan Ake in that centre back position, and the fullbacks as well are better than Nathan Ake. So I'm gonna put Nathan Ake in the A tier now. Uh, Jordi Alba, incredible, incredible fullback, fast unreal on the ball, nice passing ability, tackling is solid as well. I'm gonna put Jordi Alba in the a plus tier lucio you guys already know where he is gonna go 100 100 s tier card would his base card go into the s tier as well 100 percent it would there's not like a massive difference between this card and the base card but you do notice a little bit of a difference in game saliba in form came out a very long time ago i think he was like in the first team of the week of fifa 23 he is still pretty nice i must admit but definitely not a plus yeah, I'm going to put him A tier, boys. I'm going to put him A tier. I definitely do not believe he deserves to go into that A plus tier. Welcome, Mascherano. Great tackling ability, but that pace in that center back position definitely, definitely is annoying to work with. He just doesn't catch up to the really fast attackers. I'm going to put Mascherano in the A tier. Benucci, rule breaker. Same thing. Great tackling ability, but the pace isn't anything like crazy. It's not Gavardio's kind of pace. It's not Kim Min Jay's kind of pace either. I'm going to put Benucci in the A tier as well. Well, Marquez, this guy's tackling ability, un unreal. I hate playing up against Marquez, man. The guy just somehow gets the ball every single time. It's like Virgil van Dijk's tackling ability. That's how good it is. Marquez, for me, is going to go into the A-plus tier. Taglia Fico, two-star weak foot, very annoying to work with, but not the end of the world because we have got a two-star weak foot player, keep that in mind, in the A-plus tier, and it is Robertson. But if we're comparing Robertson to Taglia Fico, huh, yeah, Robertson wins, and it's not even close, I'll be honest. Taglia Fico is an okay fullback at best, boys. I'm definitely taking uh, Vasquez over him. I'm definitely taking Pavard in a fullback position, Luke Shaw in a fullback position over him as well. Taglia Fico is going to go down into their B-plus tier. Edem Militao, Phenom's card, incredible, incredible card. There's rumors of him getting a Team of the Year card as well. I cannot wait for that card. But yeah, Edem Militao, Phenom's, S tier. He's so, so good. Uh, Radu, I believe is how you say it. He's an SBC. He actually is a pretty nice centre-back, but he isn't like crazy. He isn't Kim Min Jae level. He isn't Dendonka level. He isn't a Rojo level, Marquinhos level, Eric Bailly level. So I'm going to put Radu in the A tier. Palwa, I believe is how you say it. I'm not 100%. If I said that wrong, let me know how you say it, boys, in the comment section. He is a very, very good centre-back. I was super surprised when I used him with how good he was. Like, tackling-wise top tier physicals incredible this guy was pushing players off the ball i couldn't believe it and the pace as well the pace oh yeah he is not slow let's just put it that way and if you compare this card to his gold card like pace wise they gave him a humongous upgrade for an 84 rated promo card He's solid. Very, very solid. I'm going to put him in the A plus tier. As for the Quetta, now this was a card I was slightly disappointed. When I saw the stats, I was like, okay, he's going to be nice. But when I used him, he really wasn't anything like special. I'm definitely taking a player like Cordoba over him. I'm definitely taking a player like Alaba over him as well. As for the Quetta, is going to go into the A tier, boys. Nothing crazy in my opinion. Klosterman, winter wild card, insanely good. The pace on Klosterman. Yeah, the real deal. The real, 
Real deal, this guy's pace is just insane. He catches up to literally everyone. Do I believe he's an S-tier centre-back though? I do like Klosterman a lot, but I do not like him as much as the S-tier centre-back. So I'm going to put him in the A-plus tier. Carl Walker, path to glory. I mean, there's no question about it, boys. There's no question about it. He needs to be up there. He is so, so good. It's ridiculous. See, a path to glory, cooler, not cooler party. Path to glory, uh, Carl Walker. S tier. We got El Yamik, very solid centre back as well. Very fast for a centre back. That is something I definitely will say. Uh, physicals is nice. Defending's nice. Comfortable A plus. Comfortable, comfortable A plus tier card. Good fullback as well, but not an insanely good fullback. I'll be honest. He's not as good as Wambazak. He's not as good as Robertson. He's not as good as uh, players like Traore, Frimpong, in my opinion. I did like him, though. I did like him. And obviously, the links are just, like, beautiful. You get that Fio Hernandez link. You get that Tomori link as well. You get that Liao link. There's so many, so many good links with him. It's just him as a player. I liked, but I didn't love. I'm going to put him in the A tier. Tackling animations on Bastoni. Very, very solid. It kind of reminds me of, like, Chiellini's tackling animations. That's how good it is. Pace, though, sometimes can be a little bit of an issue. I'll be honest, I'm taking Klosterman, Arojo, Gavardio, Kimbin J over this Bastoni card. So I'm going to put Bastoni in the A tier. We got Trippier. He is a uh, good fullback as well. He was only worth two uh, Winter Wildcard swap tokens as well. The thing of Trippier, right, is defense it isn't crazy with him. He's nice going forward because he does feel good on the ball. It's just on defense... Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. I'm going to put Trippier, though, in the A tier. I don't believe he deserves to go higher. I don't believe he deserves to go any lower than that, though. Phenoms Kunde, incredible send back. Was in the S tier last time. Does he stay in the S tier this time? I think it's now time to drop down, boys. I think it's now time to drop Kunde down from the S tier into the A plus tier. He isn't as good as Kempembe. He isn't as good as Tomori either. Kunde. You're going to drop down from the S to the A+. It's Stupinyan, I believe is how you say it. I'm not 100%, though. The dribbling on this card is so, so poor. I would rather have Dest. I would rather have Navas. I would rather have someone like Luke Shaw in that fullback position, boys. He is going to go into the B plus tier. Gomez in form came out a while back, I believe it is. He is still a very good center back. I actually believe Gomez was in the A plus tier last time. Does he stay in the A plus tier? Nah. With their centre backs now in there, like Kunde, like uh, Bai, with obviously Marquinhos being in there as well, a uh, Rojo. I think it's time to Gomez to drop down as well into the A tier. Sule, road to the knockout card, six foot five. This guy's reach is incredibly good. He isn't a slow centre back either. His sprint speed is up there, tackling top tier. Transition though sometimes can be a little bit, just a little bit of an issue with Sule. I'm taking Kim and Jay over him. I'm taking someone like uh, someone like Ramos over him as well. I'm taking Marquinhos over him. Sule is going to go into the A tier, boys. And just like that, we have ourselves our final defenders tier list. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my top three centre-backs and top three full-backs. So starting off with the centre-backs. Last time, it was Virgil van Dijk, Koulibaly, Lucio. I made a mistake there. I made a mistake. Virgil van Dijk is still my number one. Second, though, has to be Lucio. Lucio over Cooler Barley. That was something I should have done last time. Not sure why I didn't, but we moved. So Lucio second and third, Cooler Barley. For my fullbacks, I think there's no question about it. Cap de Villa, number one. Second, I put Carl Walker last time over Theo Hernandez. I'm going to switch that around. Theo Hernandez in that second spot. Carl Walker in that third spot. So top three centre-backs for me is Virgil van Dijk, Lucio Koulibaly. Top three full-backs is going to be uh, Cap de Villa, Theo Hernandez and Carl Walker, boys. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a few cheap beasts that you guys could potentially try out. Dumfries, try them out. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Dumfries is like 60k, probably even less than that. And he is unreal. You guys can see how much I love him. I've got him in that S tier. He is the real, real deal. Oh yeah, also let me know your top three center backs and top three fullbacks in the comment section, boys. Another few cheap, another few cheap beasts that you could try out. Klosterman, I think it's like 60k. Unreal center back as well. Carver Howe used to be 200k. Now he's dropped down to like 70k, I believe it is. Carver Howe, really, really good fullback as well. Kim Min Jay, so cheap. 80k for Kim Min Jay, absolute bargain. A Rojo, a Rojo's like 50k, boys. A Rojo's like 50, 60k 
try them out. Again, you will not be disappointed. Amarvi's got that five-star weak foot, which is really nice as well. I actually believe I said earlier that Amarvi could play on the other side. I don't think he can. I don't think that Winter Wild card can play in that left-back position. I'm pretty sure his uh, original card is a left-back, but he got moved into a right-back position, and this card can only play in a right-back and right-wing-back. So that's my mistake if I did say that earlier. So yeah, Amarvi, we got players like Klosterman. We got players like uh, Gavardio as well, really cheap. There's so many cheap centre centre-backs and full-backs in this game. Try, to try a few that I did mention, and trust me, you won't be disappointed. They are very, very good. It's just like that Dumfries card. <laughs> that Dumfries card is a must try. It's a must try, boys. Like 60, 70K for that Dumfries card is nuts. He's a bargain. And again, you guys can see how much I love him. But that is going to be it for the Defenders tier list. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.